The process of creating this sculpture of Transcendent Justice was a really organic and it just kind of evolved as I worked with the idea of justice. I went back and forth with some different designs and we were talking about memorializing an area in the center to Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And so we wanted like a metaphor for justice and not just a literal portrait of her. As I was thinking about the idea of what true justice is. And basically in the sculpture you can see you have a figure rising up. She's actually floating in this ethereal drapery that's rising up around her. So she's not your stereotypical figure of justice that you'd see in front of a courthouse with the blinded justice with the blindfold on. She's instead cloaked in this drapery, not nude like a, a justice figure would be. And instead of the blindfold, she has a sheer drape that's kind of blowing across her face and melding in with the drapery behind her. And so what it creates is a metaphor for the idea that justice transcends above just the law. I mean, sure, we hope and we always work towards justice in the law and that our laws will be just. But when I thought about the figures in history that have stood up for what's truly just, a lot of them stood up against the law to do what was right, whether it was Rosa Parks or Chief Standing Bear or any of these figures that marched for justice. That's what this figure represents. So she's actually becoming the scales of justice rather than simply holding the scales of justice. And I hope people really think about that deeper concept and then go out from there, like the goal of the WASMA, to go out and live it. You know, see that and see and understand that each of us has a responsibility to justice. It's not just the courts. We each have our own responsibility in our own life to try our best to do the right thing, as imperfect as we can be. When we look back in history, like figures like Anne Frank or Corey Tim Boom, or Oscar Schindler that did the right thing when all the world around them was doing the wrong thing. And it was okay and just to steal your neighbor's property or to destroy them or turn them in to be murdered or tortured. There were figures that didn't do that. Against the law, they hid people and helped people and they did it all for the greater good. And so that's the idea of transcendent justice is she's rising up, becoming the greater justice that we all hope to strive for.